Oh my god. Oh shit. Um. Amy Jeebus. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Bioshock 2. We're beginning the episode by hypnotizing Big Daddy. And I now have him turned against me, which is very bad. Uh, how will I defeat him? Good question. With the stinky, that's how. Shit. I don't know. Where that came from. Should burn him. Do it again. That was like the most weird howl I've ever heard. Oh, the heat-seeking rocket, rock, rockets, heat-seeking rockets are full. We should be using those a bit more. All right, let's carry on. We're gonna find one more flower, and then we can kill or save whatever his name is. The guy that's trapped inside that plasmid thing. The super genius guy. I don't know his name. Die, bitch. Should be enough to kill you. There we go. There's someone else up there. I think there was. Yeah, it's a good combo. Um, set, set them on fire, then throw the heat-seeking rocket, and then I'll go chase the fire. Gather. Right outside the uh, gatherer's garden. I could get an electro bolt. I'm kind of leaning towards one of the other plasmids, uh, the other uh, tonics. All right, I'm gonna equip Eve Saver because there doesn't seem to be that much water around uh, for my recharging. I'm wondering if I should get rid of Fountain of Youth. It is nice to have. Uh, you know what, I'm going to get rid of Keen Observer. There's only one more enemy that we need to actually film, which is a brute, and they're not really going to show up for a while. Right, let's do a gather. Angels remember mommy. Who is that? I don't know who your mommy is. Oh no, the crying is still happening. She's crying while harvesting. Let me do that. Come on. That sounds bad. You run away. Can burn. Can burn. Dead. Shoot. I just want to hurt a Houdini. Shit. Wait for me. He's still wailing. Oh no, she's still crying. This is the ghost girl. Why must I cry? Why? Why must I cry? Why? Why must I cry? Why? Why? Oh, 
Oh shit. He's coming, he's coming. Come oh, bitch, what you got? Quick ones are automatically hostile, but the regular big daddies, they seem to be okay with you. Don't mind him. Bitch. Great, Phantom Girl's crying again. Right, we're gonna head into the second area. Act this first. Uh oh. We go. All's well that ends well. Come on. I hack you guys. Ow. Back here. Eh, whatever, I'll get my own. Let's do this. Already, there's the last body. Gonna hide down here. Don't mind me. Yeah. As well. Dunk. I would use the trap spear, but these stupid robots, Harvey and Richard. Richard Dent. Patrick Harvey. <laughs> It reminds me of something. Uh, uh, they're probably going to kill themselves in there. So I'm going to have to resort to using proximity mines and the regular trap rivet surrounds that. All right, final gather. Let's do it. You're still crying. You're still crying. What's something they're gonna keep appearing from here? Oh shit. Could not have used anti personnel against him. My stinky is not gonna do anything. Fantastic. Daddy, you always save me from the monsters. 
Yeah, that's right. You're still crying. I can't wait to get rid of this bitch. And the problem is, as soon as I get rid of her, <laughs> who's gonna show up? You all know who's showing up. Well, that's the end of the Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That mad woman, Tannenbaum, bit the company hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today, I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. Okay, let's return her. Almost home, sir. Here it comes. Brace yourselves, lads. The bitch is coming. Dealt with every little sister. 355. Very nice. The girls are whispering, Father. They've left you a present at the Gatherer's Garden. Take it. Hell no. He's coming. Oh, Lord, she's coming. Sisters, uh, sorry, big sister's almost here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, she's going invisible. Did you find me if I'm invisible? Come on, I dare you to come get me, bitch. Where are you? Oh! <laughs> Okay, I had no idea she could do that. I had no idea she could appear down there. The forces come up the stairs. Oh, shit. Come on. Yes. Come on. Where are you? Oh, my God. I still have to research them. I got rid of my research camera, didn't I? Or do I still have it? I can't remember. Which you're going? Uh, oh, ow. Oh. Right, yeah. Acquired tonic. Uh, drill vampire. Drill vampire heals your body and your mind as you drill. Drain, as you drill, drain health right out of your foes with Drill Vampire. Okay, so I can just basically steal health. So we'll get rid of uh, this one. Oh, shit. I think she's stuck. Um, oh, I know what to do. Pulling reinforcements. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, kill the splicer, you dingus. Such the same one. I have to try it. What are you doing, you stupid? I switched the slug. This is 
bad. I could very well lose it. Just about did it. It took everything, but we just about did it. Ay, 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 ay. Right, let's pick up the last flower. Collect four Adam infused plants. Alright, sport, time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. We can't have you running around the laboratories in your condition. Right. You want to deal with me? You deal with me. Oh shit. Oh shit. One down. around playing daddy until some splicer manages to kill off their sister and then if the coma doesn't take them they turn maniac nothing left to do but scream uh, no offense intended son we better get you to Eleanor on the double your body begins to tear itself apart the compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma you have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? Oh, got my present for me. Where's you gonna run off to? Hey, that's right, you run away. I mean, you got some extra Adam in there in that syringe? No? Okay, see ya. Got five dollars, two hundred fifty item, and a cream filled cake. We can do better than that. Maybe not. <laughs> that is a load of Adam. All right, Electro Bolt three. We've been wanting it. Now we get it. Every attack is a chain lightning. Now charge for a continuous electrical storm. Every bolt hits more than one foe. Charge up to blast them with a deadly storm. Evolve today. 
All right, no more plasmids. Pretty much got everything we need. Now it's all about tonics. What tonics do we want? Walking Inferno, I like that one. I'm gonna get rid of the sessions lasting longer. We don't need too many of them. Um, hurried hack is a good one. We can hurry the hack. Might be better. Get rid of the Eve link. And that should be it for now. 335 remaining Adam. I'm going to hold out and I'm hoping that um, future gathering machines will be better. If you know what I mean. Or offer me more. Alright. All my preparations are set. We're going to flip the switch in a sec. You hear that? Right, let's flip that switch. Deep sea life catchment system online. Notice to all employees, subject Delta is hereby dismissed. Stop them from the premises. Yeah, dare you? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I just throw a can at him. Ow, 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 who's shooting? Are oh, you crotch? How about that? Oh, he's coming up the stairs. says Son, you reel them in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. All right, moment of truth. Genetic sample extraction. Oh, what the hell is that? Alright, we got it. Now what? Let me pick it up. You've got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. Unlock the hidden elevator. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, 
I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor would be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. Should we kill? Or should we not? Yeah, I don't know how you're gonna live outside with that monstrosity of a form. But we're gonna play the pacifist run, so you get to live. As much as it pains us. Alright, we're gonna go for one last search everywhere. And make sure we haven't missed anything out. And then we're gonna meet you at the exit. Or I'll meet you at the exit, I should say. Oh, 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 what the hell? the hell? Okay. I think I've got everything that I need. Heading back out. What in the world was that? Alright, I sped that dude. I hope I get a reward for it. This is the Oxyfil station, Chief. But don't be fooled by the facade. This is the way in. Use that key now. Ah, found Lamb's hideout. I got you. Right, we're inside Lamb's hideout. I think we should end the episode here. Let's make sure there isn't anyone who's going to speak to us. In the hidden elevator. Let's listen to this message. Evil daughter. And then we'll finish things. Eleanor's condition may be a blessing in disguise. Early splicing tests indicate zero genetic damage due to her condition as a little sister. It appears that she is our new vessel. This will be no mere personality schism, though. Rapture's genius will be held within her DNA, able to shift into desired patterns at will. A utopian cannot be confined to a single throw of the genetic dice. When needed, she is a composer, a dancer, an engineer. She truly will be the people's daughter. All right. And with that, we are going to end the episode. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel. And I will see you next time when we take the elevator.